Hi students, in this video, I wanna share with you how you can use Zoom on your mobile device. So I am right now on my Android Samsung Galaxy 8 Plus. And as you can see, I have Zoom installed on my device. So you'll wanna to go to the Google Play Store or iTunes Store and the app that you're gonna be installing is Zoom Cloud Meetings. So look for this guy um, and install it on your device. Then, once you have that installed, you can go into your Canvas student app um, if that's where your instructor has your Zoom link. Um, some instructors will have a Zoom link in the, in the Canvas course, while others have maybe emailed it to you. So if you have it in email or somewhere else, then go ahead to where, wherever else you've received it, and you can click on that Zoom link from that message. In this case, I'm going to show you from the Canvas app. So I'm going to go into my classes in Canvas. It'll open up my dashboard. I'm going to go into my course. I should find now on this one, I have a home page with a Zoom link. So I clicked on the, I tapped on the home page, and you can see my Zoom Room link and a Join Now link there. So I can click there as one option. Now, for some of you, you may have um, professors who have the Zoom link in the menu there. And so if that's the case, then you would use that link to access the Zoom Room. And when that loads, you'll see that there's a join link here for um, accessing Zoom that way. And then let me go, I'll go back to the home page and click on the link that's here. So I'm going to click on join now. I'm going to copy and paste the link in Chrome to join the meeting. So when I do a long press on that link, because I have Zoom installed on this device, it also allows me to open this link with Zoom. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and tap on now. And this is now bringing me into the Zoom meeting. It's asking me what I want my display name to be in the Zoom meeting. And that sounds good. And here we are. So this is going to be similar to the bottom, um, the black menu that we saw on the bottom of our um, desktop version of Zoom in my previous video. Notice on the bottom um, right, at the bottom left, it's asking us to join audio. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, call via device audio. So it's going to use my microphone from my device here instead of dialing in. Um, and I've got my mute unmute. So right now I'm muted. Um, no one is in this meeting, but if they were, they wouldn't be hearing me. So I would have to unmute myself if I want to be heard um, in this meeting. If I want to be seen in this meeting, which at 11 p.m. right now, I don't want to be seen, so you won't be seeing my video. Um, but um, I could start my video with that button, that red button there. The next one is share, so I could even share my screen. Um, if there was something, something I was working on on my phone or something I want to show um, from my phone, maybe a picture that I have on my phone, I could share that um, with the other participants in the uh, session. If I tap on that participants icon, I'm given a list of all the participants in the class, of course, right now, or participants in this Zoom session. Right now, it's just me. But here's one way that you could raise your hand. So you see some icons at the bottom that are going to allow you to signal to um, the other participants in the class. So you'll see um, some options down here. On your more, you've got another row to give thumbs up, thumbs down etc. So that's all on our participant list, which I can now close by tapping up here on the top left. Oh, before I do that, there's your chat window as well. So I just tapped on chat, and here's where I can type my chat to say hi, everybody, and send that out into my Zoom chat. I'll hit close to close that out and close again to get back to the meeting. So we looked at mute, I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself. Mute, unmute, video, share screen, the participant list, and then if I hit more, I've got some options as well. Um, raising my hand is also here. Um, show names when participant is hiding on video. That's kind of the basics of it. Now, I'm the only one in here. Um, and so you're not seeing my video on the screen, but as more people were to join this, then I'd actually be swiping left and right 
in order to see the webcams of everybody else who's in this meeting. So um, you don't really get a good feel for it here, but you actually do have more than one page. As more people join, you'll have more than one swipes necessary to kind of swipe through everybody in the meeting um, with the multiple um, webcam videos showing on each of those screens. Um, and then the drive safely, safe driving mode is this one all the way to the left where um, you can have this mode up and then it's a much quicker tap to speak. It's a much quicker um, mute and unmute button, though I wouldn't advise you doing that while you're driving. Um, that is definitely not safe driving if you ask me, <laughs> but it's there. Um, all right, so then if we swipe back to the main part of the meeting, um, again, so we kind of touched base on the menu items there. We have the leave uh, button in the top uh, right corner, and that's what I'm going to tap on to leave the meeting. So that was a real quick overview.